Well, I think this conference has really shown us that, uh, you know, Workday is really stepping up into the, uh, into the major leagues as far as, uh, you know, HCM software is concerned. Um, you know, you could say that they're no longer in the battle of David and Goliath. They're no longer the David. They're really, you know, becoming really the dominant player. And, uh, you know, I've talked to some customers while here and um, found out who they were looking at during their selection. And, um, you know, when it comes to large uh, global H, uh, HCM solutions, you know, Workday is, uh, is really one of the leading um, technology providers in this space. So, um, as we all know, they've gone corporate. Uh, I mean, they've gone public as a corporation in the last uh, a couple months, and this uh, definitely brings more attention to them. So um, they're going to start getting more attention now as a market leader instead of just a market disruptor. And um, there's going to be more attention paid to them, and uh, people are going to be taking a closer look. And so they can expect uh, you know, more examination and criticism from guys like us um, as we see how they perform in, in the major leagues. I, I, one of the most wonderful things about SaaS and, and cloud applications is the way that they're like kind of ships in flight that are continually changing the, the whole uh, infrastructure of how they're built and kind of massive pieces being taken out and replaced without the whole system being brought down. So what Workday have been talking about, uh, uh, for example, that's intrigued me is the great fact that they're changing from the MySQL database platform to um, a, a different database platform that is so technically advanced. I, I couldn't get my head around it, so you'll have to look up the details uh, on, on, on the web about that or when I write about it later on. But the key thing that I wanted to sort of uh, draw out there is that people say that the um, the, the SaaS model and multi-tenancy you know, only matters to vendors, but, but actually where, how would an on-premise vendor completely change the way its product is architected in flight while customers are still using it? It's just not possible. The model is completely different and the advances in performance and capability and scalability that vendors like Workday are able to build in because of that is, is making a, a, an enormous competitive advantage that's going to allow them to streak away from the on-premise guys getting increasingly left behind. All right, so the one thing that really jumped out at me at this event is that you can't really use the word ERP anymore. That uh, what customers want is something much bigger and more powerful than a solution that was designed for the industrial age that fits within the four walls of an enterprise. That's an old term, it's a dated term, and it's just not relevant anymore. What they want is they want analytics and com computational capabilities that transcend the enterprise, that deal with other constituents other than the internal accountants and HR folks. And what you saw at this event were thing, uh, announcements all around analytics, around all, new architectural changes to the product line, and uh, an embracing of social media, which I hope they're going to expand more broadly to include more constituents than just the internal users. What strikes me most, this is something I should have known a long time ago, is how much cost is really saved by having only one version and no cost of upgrades, essentially by having the software company taking, taking care of all that. Uh, what's really unusual for me is being able to watch the developers get feedback almost immediately and therefore be able to make lots of small changes. But you see it on the other end as well. People do more because they feel more control because there isn't this long chain between what they want to get and, and when it's actually delivered to them.